Well, he's the president, but if you think about it, he's also America's CEO. And, and right about these days, he's looking kind of lonely. The biggest backers of Obamacare, for example, now backing away from, well, Obama. And that is putting the president in a whole lot of pressure. Fox Biz All-Stars say it's like in a business when your own board members start turning on you. Things can turn ugly and fast. Tracy, um, that's what's going on here. Right, but the result is not going to be the same. I mean, ask Sanofi's CEO what happened to him. He got ousted. Carol Bartz, former CEO of Yahoo, the board ousted her. I mean, American Apparel, Men's Warehouse. Apparently, they didn't like the way he looked. All these uh, CEOs got fired by their boards, and they're out on the street. This is not going to happen here. So while everyone's turning on him, he's still going to ride the White House wave all the way to the end of his term. But they are crippling how much of a successful CEO he'll be in the next two years. Yes, because this is a, this is a swing vote strategy. If you're in the White House and you're playing defense, trying to protect Obamacare, immigration, climate policy, you want to defend those so they're still intact. The Republicans are going to try to pick off as many Democrats as they can so they can override a veto. And so that's what this is all about. It's a defensive strategy. And so the president has to lure some swing vote Democrats to stay with him. And he'll use Air Force One trips. He'll use the Lincoln bedroom. He'll use whatever tools he can to make sure that they stay on base with him. That's what this is all about. It's a defensive strategy. But if and you're so, looking at Obamacare, I used to think it was impossible to repeal this thing. Now, Veronica, I'm not so sure because you get enough of the unwilling the coalition of the unwilling Democrats who are just thanking themselves that they were not up for re-election this year. I could see cobbling together a dozen, 15 members who say, no, 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 no more of this. And maybe that's what something Schumer is signaling. Maybe that's something outgoing Senator Harkin is signaling when they're both turning on this. It could be, but I, the question is, are they going to want to put their political capital and their time into doing that? Some people have said that's not what they're interested in doing. Either way, though, as a CEO, he has a tough job. Every, every CEO does. But what good CEOs do are, is build coalitions. And he, even though he's got two years left, he still has time to build coalitions. But to he doesn't build want. He's, he's, will, he's good bridges. will in Washington. And I think if we're going to see real change, those coalitions need to happen. He only built a coalition once. He only built a coalition once, and that was with Obamacare. And it didn't have a single Republican in that coalition. So then that's not a coalition. So they're ticked off on him. And then it's not a coalition. We well, talked no, it was a about... coalition of Democrats. Okay. okay. It was the caucus of Democrats. But, but now think... that coalition is what's turning up. That's what I mean by his, his board turning up. Well, it's death by a thousand paper cuts. If the, if the Republicans have the will, they can strip out parts of Obamacare with some Which help from some do. Democrats Which who are scared do. about their next election. Which they'll do. You talked about Jeff Bezos yesterday of Amazon apologizing. The president has never apologized. So there's no coalition ability but left he must in this be, presidency. He must be seeing that Chuck Schumer has and his regrets. He must be seeing that Harkin has and his regrets. He must be seeing that even Sabila is, even though she called us idiots for not comprehending. That's just talk, I don't think he, that's just talk. I really don't think he cares. I, think really? He, I really don't. But, that's, I, but at the same time, he, he, he can't go around so. vetoing everything, though. you got to do something. Our, the American no, public, you're very logical. The American public wants he, something to get done in the next two years. we got to see something happen. Know. I don't know. He's only had two vetoes. Okay, he's good. We're going to see a lot more vetoes from him. I don't well, know. The pressure then is on him. And exactly. he'll be the obstructionist. He will be the obstructionist, it, and that's no. why Schumer and others—they're just—it's just talk okay. because they're protecting themselves. In the meantime, on issue two, businesses all but giving up hope on the White House. We're, we're hearing that more companies are now feeling the use of executive power is actually making them feel powerless. So, Mark, on a way back to your point. Uh, on both the left and the right, there's a feeling like, okay, you got to cool it on this, you know, executive order stuff. Exactly. This is the grim number, 777 days, the grim number that business has to look forward to to get through this administration from today. 777 days. You are days. a very hateful man if you're yeah, actually counting days. I am. That's, that's a big, ugly What is that? Okay? It's almost like it's not six, as, six, Surely six. there are other it's things going on. It's not as bad on. as the number of days that we've had in this administration, oh, okay? All righty. Someone has some anger management. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but, that's, but yeah, business, no, look, business, they, they over-regulated. They are still overtaxed, and they're not going to get anywhere with this administration. They want clarity. They want direction. They want to see what's going to happen with regulation. They don't like to operate when there's no visibility. They still have a lot of uh, lack of visibility. So that's going to impede Good hiring. Deal. It still is impeding hiring. We're not getting as many jobs as we should. And we have a lot of people who are working part-time who should be working full-time. And uh, employers are reluctant I, to hire, bring those people I on. I think they're, everyone's on hold now, Neil. They just now want a pro-business president. And these small businesses in particular are just going to muddle their 
their way through the next two years. Do nothing, not hire, not expand, not do anything. Yeah, but I Just haven't heard a lot of the through. Democrats, you know, I mean, quietly heard grumbling about the, well, the executive orders because they do respect their independence and the differences mm -hmm. between, uh, you know, the, 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 the houses of power. But I hear it more from Republicans. But look, you have small businesses on both sides of the aisle, and they're getting clobbered. The NFIB, which represents small businesses, has said time and time again, you're supposed to come with, to us for our approval before you pass these regulations, all the EPA rules, all these things well, are And the latest them. stuff on overtime. Yes, and, and it's crippling them. They are not part of the conversation as they should be, and that is the, our, they are job creators. And a survey of a business group recently showed that 57% of the members of this group believe this White House is not friendly to their interests, and only 1% said they believe this White House is friendly towards business. You know, the only promising thing about all this is that at least all the fakery is off. The president's made it clear how he feels. Small businesses, to your point, have made it clear how they feel. They're not quite as vindictive as you are with the day count. I mean, <laughs> oh, what do you have, an hourly grim. count as that's well? That's grim. Well, three hours I mean, But what now. do you think of that? That now that's, at least we know where we stand they with know everybody. Where they stand, but either way, he's still the president, and they have to find a way to make it work in the me remaining two years. I mean, it is what it is. They can't do anything about that. So they're gonna, they but that's, to figure the, that's out. the thing. They're going to do nothing. They're going to work they're with in a Republicans. Tough position. They're going to work with Republicans around the edges and hope that they can negotiate something that's more in their favor than they've gotten for the last six years. Well, don't hold your breath. Right. right. 777 uh, days. Already. Can you with this guy? I have what you said back in 1972, and I'm still not over it. All right. Let me